This intercession is taking place at Sarimana, and it's in the chapel between Clandovery and Trigaran. It's this wonderful little old chapel, and it's Calvinist Methodist. And the Calvinist Methodists are a Welsh revi Protestant revivalist. They trace their origins back to the evangelism and preaching of George Whitfield, and especially Harold Harris in the late 1730s and 40s. And they formed a separate body from the Church of England and from other Methodists after 1821 when their rules of discipline were published, followed in 1823 by their confession of faith based on predestinationalist five points of Calvinism. This, this little chapel was built in 1822, immediately following the independence of the Calvinistic Methodists. The prime mover was Reverend Ebenezer Richard, minister at Trigaran. It served the people of the sheep farms for several miles round about. The congregation had fallen to two in 1968 and saw was threatened with closure. But since 1973, its status has been secured. And the scriptures are Romans chapter 8 and the 29th and 30th verses. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Romans chapter 5 and the ninth verse. Much more then being justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Almighty and everlasting God, thou art God, thou art the Lord, and even in this place which down the years has been to thy glory, a place very much out as it were in the wilds these days. But yet there is that sense of thy wonderful presence here. And down the years there would have been those who came to worship their God, who know their God, and who know that they had been predestinated, and those who have been predestinated, have they gone on to know their position in Christ, and this intercession before thee is to thank thee for the primitive Methodists, to thank thee for what they stood for, in following thy word. And to thank thee now that this place will still be a light unto the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. It may not be used very often now, yet it is here, not as some historical monument, but to show that you are still the living God and you call unto thyself those who have been
called in Christ Jesus. Those who have come to know the salvation which is in him alone. And that in these days, even in the very wilds, the places in Wales which once were vibrant with, for the gospel, once chapels, many chapels have been, been closed in Wales. Now, this is a great tragedy, O oh God, a real turning away from thyself. And I come to thee and say unto thee that thine honour is at stake whilst Wales is far away from thyself. And that you will raise up in these days those who not just know thee but they show forth through their lives, not themselves, but they show forth the compassion of Christ, the love of Christ, and are burdened with that of lost souls, souls that are on the road draw to hellfire, because the flame was quenched. Another, other gods have come in and taken the place of thyself. The gods of this, the things of this world. And its head, the god of this world, Lucifer himself. O oh God, thank thee that when you are turned to again, turn unto me and I. Here we 
which speaks that you have heard and you will answer, already answered, to thy glory through Jesus, the one exalted at thy right hand, having all authority in heaven and upon earth, even here in Wales, where he is, given the preeminence once more.